Hi, I'm Pat LeFemlin from Bowsight.com, and I'm here to review the new 2019 Matthews Verdicts. Uh, if you guys are familiar with our previous reviews, you know how this is going to go. I approach all of them the same way, the standpoint of a hardcore bow hunter. I'm not interested in four straw curves. I don't care how well the bow shoots those strange fat target arrows. Uh, I'm not interested even in the technical nuances with cams and dampeners and things like that. If that's your bag, that's fine. It's just not mine. This review was taken from a hardcore bow hunter's review, guys whose bows get bloody, <laughs> guys that bows get beat up. They're banging them around tree steps, they're dropping them in rivers, or they're bouncing around in the back of a pickup truck or a quad or something like that. Those are real hunting conditions and that's how we approach every single one of our reviews. I'm always excited to get a new bow, and that was no different with the 2019 Matthews Verdicts. Like previous bows, I had no knowledge of what was being sent to me, and the first time I learned anything about the bow is when I pulled it out of the box. My first impression was that the Verdicts is very similar to the Triax, except that the Verdicts is a 30-inch axle-to-axle bow. The Triax is 28. Like the Triax, the Verdicts has a 6-inch brace height, utilizes cross-center cam technology, and has an IBO speed of 343 feet per second but that's where the similarities end. Three things jumped out at me. First, this amazingly innovative feature, which Matthews called switch weight technology. With just an Allen wrench, I can change a cam module, adjust the bow weight. I don't even need a bow press. Think of that. No more expensive limb swaps, trips to the pro shop, and if I'm hunting whitetails, I can use a 60-pound weight module. If I'm heading for brown bear, I simply replace my 60-pound module with a 75-pound module. That is incredible for guys like me who hunt a wide variety of game in any given seasons. The other aspect that jumped out at me was how amazingly easy this bow was to tune. In 15 minutes, I had my fixed broadheads and field points hitting identical point of aim at 40 yards. Typically, I've given up long before I can ever achieve anything remotely close to that. Now, you guys who have seen my videos know that I can deliver a well-placed arrow into a critter, despite my somewhat sloppy form. I spent the last year trying to perfect my grip with varying degrees of success, uh, and that leads me to the third thing I noticed about the verdicts. Matthews has changed the grip uh, on this bow, and they call it the engaged grip. Uh, not only is it the best grip I've ever tried, it is helping me reduce my hand torque. Um, the differences are subtle when you look at it, but it's making a big difference with my grip consistency. So let's look at the key characteristics of the verdicts. Balance and feel. I found the balance of the verdicts to be superior to the Triax. Now I like the Triax, but Triax tended to be a bit hot top heavy and the verdicts is perfectly balanced. And as I mentioned, I love the new grip. Hand shock. Matthew's tests claim the hand shock is 20% less than the Triax. I won't dispute that. Uh, but I would say that 20% of nothing is still nothing. This bow is scary dead. So is the Triax. Draw cycle. The longer axle to axle results in a perceived improvement in the draw cycle. It was better than the Triax and equal to the no cam, which was my favorite draw cycle of all bows. Speed. This bow is advertised at 343 feet per second IBO. It's plenty fast for me and very stable for a 30 inch axle to axle bow. Accuracy. The only real measure I use to assess any bow is how well I shoot it. I shot the Verdicts uh, just fantastic. I achieved perfect arrow flight with virtually no tuning effort, uh, and anything that walks in front of my Verdicts is in trouble. <laughs> so let's look at some specs. The Verdicts is 30 inches axle to axle. The bow weighs 4.7 pounds and clocks in at 343 feet per second IBO. Draw weight options are 60, 65, 70, and 75 pounds, uh, and they can be changed with a simple module swap. Let off is 80 and 85%, and draw lengths runs 26 to 30.5 in half inch increment. The bow comes in seven finishes, black, stone, real tree edge, Ridge Reaper Baron, Ridge Reaper Forest, Sitka's Optifade Elevated Two, and Sitka's Subalpine Patterns. One new addition to the Vertex is the dovetail mounting system for the arrow rest. This provides a rock solid mount for rest incorporating a dovetail design, like Matthew's new micro adjustable integrated arrow rest. For those of you who are loyal to other rests, like my favorite has always been the Ripcord Max Micro or other brands, the Vertex also accommodates a standing mounting option. As I stated at the beginning of this video, I only post a review after I have thoroughly tested the bow during actual hunting conditions. None of my reviews are published until I have taken an animal. And like many of you, that's not always easy, and the deer don't always cooperate. 
Uh, but I kept at it, and finally I spotted a buck heading in. I reached for my vertex and waited for a great shot angle. The draw was smooth, and I forgot all about the bow while concentrating on my shot. The arrow went right where I was aiming as I watched the buck run off before going out of sight. After a short wait, I lowered my vertex and took up the trail. I knew my shot was good, and the blood trail proved that out immediately. My vertex performed just as I expected it would. A deer from my family's table taken quickly and cleanly certainly meets my definition of success. I really, really like this bow. Uh, the evolutionary improvements just keep refining what was already an outstanding platform. Uh, but don't take my word for it, try it for yourself. Go down to your local Matthews dealer and shoot the 2019 Vertex. Compare it against the Triax or the other two 2019 models, which are the Traverse and the TX5. Shoot them all. Uh, then decide if this bow feels great in your hands too. And if you do buy the Vertex, consider purchasing an additional module just in case your bow hunting path leads you to more than one big game animal. As always, thanks for following this review. Hope you found it informative. Consider subscribing to our channel for a whole bunch more that we have planned next year. As always, thank you for visiting bowsite.com and have a safe and enjoyable hunting season.